let's look at some uh, examples of factorizing quadratic expression. Now what is a quadratic? So let me write a quadratic. A quadratic would look somewhat like this. Say you got x squared plus 7x plus 6. So you want to factorize you want to factorize this. The question is to factorize. So how do you factorize? Factorize means basically you have to put this in two brackets. So this is two brackets in the form you start with x and x. Now factorization is just the opposite of expansion. So in expanding two brackets uh, you start with x and, and you got a number here and then you got a number here. So you're thinking backwards. So here what you're doing is you're finding the two factors of 6 or pairs of factors of 6. Factors of 6 or factor pairs. So let me write not factor, factor pairs of 6. Factor pairs of 6. So, you have to find the two factors of 6 which adds to give you 7. We'll see why later. So, the factor pairs are, you can have 1 and 6 can be one factor, one pair. You can have 2 and 3. You can have, of course, 6 and 1. This is the same thing repeated. Or 3 and 2. You can also have negative. Okay, I'm not going into negative here. Yeah? It can also be negative 1 and negative 6. So basically what we are saying is 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 1 is 6, 3 times 1 is 6. So as there are no negatives, we are not concerned about negative. So which are the two fa factors which adds to give you 7? Well, this seems to be right because 1 times 6 is 6. That's what we want and 1 plus 6 is 7. So the factors are, or you put plus 1 here and plus 6 here. Does it make sense? It does make sense because if you expand this out, you should get this. So let's expand this out. So this is also good practice for expansion. So this is what we saw in the last two lessons. So expanding this out to check. This is just to check whether we have got the factors right. So this is x x times x plus 6 plus 1 times x plus 6. Okay, so exp if you expand this out further, so this is x times x plus 1 times, sorry, x times 6 plus 1 times x plus 1 times 6. So this is what factorization is. So this just explain this in a reverse order. So this is x squared plus 6x plus 1x plus 6. So can you see this is 1 times 6 and this is 1 plus 6. And that's why we are looking for two numbers or two pairs or two factors of 6 or the pairs of factor pairs of 6 which adds to give you 7 and this is your answer that's all okay let's do one more okay so what would happen if you have x squared plus uh, say 8x plus 12 well we are we are thinking of pairs factor pairs of 12 factor pairs of 12 Okay, so well, let's start from 1. 1 times 6. Sorry, 1 times 12. So, if you add 1 and 12, will it give you, will it give 8? No. So, let's cross that out. You have 2 times 6. So, that 2 times 6 is 12, but and 2 plus 6 is also 8. So, this seems to be right. And so, the factors are x plus 2 times x plus 6. Now to check your answer, expand this out and if you expand this out, you should get this back. 
Okay, what would happen if you have x squared plus 7x plus 12? Okay, so same. So let's find the factors of 12 or factor pairs of 12. So that's, let's start with 1 times 12. 1 and 12 doesn't give you 7, so we'll cross that out. 2 times 6 is 12, but that doesn't give you 7. We're looking for this these two numbers should add to give you 7 so that doesn't now you got 3 times 4 well that does seem to work why because 3 plus 4 is 7 so the answer is x plus 3 times x plus 4 okay so let's do a few more what would happen let me make it a slightly difficult what would happen if you have x squared this is a bit challenging. x squared plus 3x minus 10. So now factor pairs of 10 factors. So let's start with 1 times negative 10. We're looking for negative 10. So 1 plus 1 plus negative 10 is negative 9. So this is not right. What if you take 2 times negative 5. 2 times negative 5 is 10, but 2 plus negative 5 is negative 3. So that's not working. What if I swap it around? 5 times negative 2. 5 times negative 2 is also negative 10, but 5 plus negative 2 is plus 3. So the factors, so this is right, 5 and negative 2. So the factors are x plus 5 times x minus 2. Always expand this out and check whether you're getting the answer.